welcome back in another tutorial and let's get started and in this part we are basically going to set up our vehicle because we already done something with like map and with the finish line yeah there's some issue in the rocks i don't know why that's come but we'll be fixed that too so now let's set up the first thing i already create a model and already done the modification and here's my model so this is basically the car model okay and we'll be modify that in later like the skin and other stuff and the color stuff so the first thing we need to now set up that vehicle to our own player so what i'm going to do i already create a player character so what's basically you need to do you can go to third person uh, template because we are using that so you can go to blueprint sport car and you can duplicate that once you duplicate you can go uh, and just move that to my blueprint folder so it's basically help me to set up the second is make sure whenever you import a car by yourself you need to make sure the collisions and the physics is okay the third the about the skeletons because this is also very important now once we have everything now let's set up the vehicle the first thing we need to go to our player and in the player just go to viewport here you find basically your mesh you need to just replace with your car and at here we need an animation class so we can basically whenever we play press w or a or d it's basically help us to basically move our vehicle to right, uh, right or left now let's create a simple animation so just simply click on animation and animation blueprint at here you need to choose that basically the vehicle animation class that is this vehicle animation class so make sure you choose your skeleton and at here choose the basically vehicle animation class and then simply click on create now you can give your uh, animation name let's give it that rc in my case i'm giving it name that rc animation bp oh i'm so sorry for writing like this so let me just fix it rc and animation bp okay great now in arts animation from the result we need to search that wheel and we need to uh, disable the wheel con convex sensitivity and you can disable all of them because we only need this that wheel controller for the vehicle so simply choose that you find something like this from that you need to search that mesh and make sure the con context sensitivity is enabled and choose this one and now it should be something like this once you have this thing you can go to your mesh and at the animation class you need to just choose your animation bp now we have everything compiled and saved now if i click on play and as you can see we found our vehicle and it's able to drive well so yeah in this way you can basically set up the a vehicle from scratch too okay like as you can see it's uh it's have basically now you're seeing that there's a small issue coming at here whenever we press back there's some material changing happen in the rc vehicle why it's happening because the light because if you go to even graph and as you can see unreal engine have by default they have a brake light function that is basically change the material so now what i'm going to do i'm going to basically set up that by our own material so basically whenever we press black this light should be glow like there's a light material level so we need to simply duplicate that and just double click and open that and instead of that you can add a parameter by pressing 10 so you can basically add the, basically the value so save that so now it will become a bright material okay so now at here even if i drag and drop this uh, bright matter as you can see 10 is too much okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to overlap by this so, so uh, blend overlay by this value and let's give it that value to 5 i guess it's a uh, 5 will be okay for this one let's check yep it's a uh, quite enough look it will be look great now suppose how you can change that you need to just go to break materials and at here the parent is basically this one the classes so we need to just change that uh, material so what i'm going to do is for changing that material you can set the material so there's a basically a break light function available so what i'm going to uh, do is if it's pressing that material or not and then if it's pressing that material okay like this one then what you need to do it will need to do something like this if it's press break at that time we need to now see that at which position we want to change i want to change the element number three so i'm going to put the value three 
and duplicate that again so if it's a breaking through so then what i'm going to do will be change our car material to red one and if it's not will be again set it to the default one so save that now if i click on play and oh sorry i also i need to reset up this one so this one now if i click on play as you can see if i press back it will be basically a light effect will be happen okay now if you want to do some more crazy lightning stuff you can do some more work in the lightning but for now because this is a for a mobile i guess this is enough okay yeah we also need to do some body work so as you can see the body is looking very plastic plastic feeling or even i'm feeling very plastic plastic type of stuff so i'm going to modify that with a material instance so it's basically help me to change the body color more easily like this one so let me now do some customization at here so even you can drag and drop that vehicle actually in the map so it will be give you the more better performance or you will find that actually how it needs to behave so let me first change the color to something uh so sorry is this one oh i'm so sorry because <clears throat> this is not this one we need to drag and drop our bp so we we can check basically the actual material so just go to the cars and yeah we need to also convert change that material location so in future it will be help us to navigate now if i change that you can see the real time changing okay the material so even we can set it to green it will be yellow it will be also looking nice okay the yellow for now the i'm i'm guessing the yellow one looking totally very crazy even instead of that some ready effect it will be look <laughs> totally a next level sport vehicle and for the roughness i'm going to make it something like this and the metallic should be like that so yeah it will be look enough shiny and it will be also look great for the glass material okay as you can see there's a basically a glass material so for the glass material uh this is basically the glass uh, the glass material so we can convert that to also a material instance so it's already in a material instance so and to simply drag and drop that to one material instance so now we need to just control that and basically i will get my result So as you can see it's like something it's looking right now this and i can make something with content bluish effect something like that and it will be looking great okay fine as you can see we have our vehicle right now and if i click on play and back as you can see it's looking damn cool okay so yeah we f uh, set up our vehicle right now we already done our setting the vehicle and now we can basically move to our second steps to basic uh because we already done setting the vehicle now in the th uh, second part we can go to some working in the development okay like as you can see uh like we can do now because we have a basic car design so it will be basically easiest for us to understand the map uh, contacts and map levels so yeah now in next part we are going to do some level designing stuff so or you can we also can go to uh, the second part of this vehicle that is if i say the system of because we already done the setting our vehicle so the third what we can do mainly in if we go to the development side uh that that we can create some more ai vehicles for us so they can basically race with us basically so yeah so let's do it in next tutorial part that how we can create a ai vehicle that who follow us or will basically do some race with us so yeah so that's all for in this video thank you so much for watching guys see you in next tutorial video